Projects I've worked on recently are um, Half the Sky, Why Am I Still Alive, We're Having Me Tell, Once in a Lullaby. Um, I served as a co-producer on We're Having Me Tell and as a producer on Once in a Lullaby, but I also was a cinematographer on all those projects. There's not really a link between all of them, I feel like, but as I was saying earlier, you know, when I got into documentary, I wanted to do stories that had sort of any kind of social impact. So all those films in a way, especially Half the Sky, I mean that project is kind of meant to empower and create a, a, a social movement around women's empowerment and women's issues. So that project, you know, definitely has that social issue impact that I've always been um, trying to do when I do films. Um, Why Am I Still Alive is a, kind of a portrait, a snapshot of the aging population in China and what it means to be an elder there. Uh, Once in a Lullaby focuses on arts education in public schools and the importance of arts education. So Mr. Gao Goes to Washington was a project I worked on as a cinematographer with uh, Leo Chang. Um, it actually, you know, it was a funny story about how it started. I was in graduate school at the time for um, my MFA in documentary film and I was looking at potential subjects for my thesis film, and one of them was the upcoming uh, election or re-election campaign of um, Han Joseph Gao, who was the first Vietnamese American congressman. Um, so he was elected in New Orleans, and a friend of mine you know, told me about a documentary filmmaker who did the film about Vietnamese American community, um, about the Vietnamese American community down in New Orleans, and I figured I should reach out to him since that would probably be a good way to get a connection to the congressman. So I reached out to, to Leo and he told me that he actually just received some money and was commissioned to do a project about Joseph Gao. And, you know, I, I was a bit discouraged and, you know, let down that I couldn't make this film. But, it, you know, I was a young filmmaker at that time, very hungry, and I just, I kind of just asked Leo can I be part of the project in any way? And he, he asked me what I'm interested in doing, and I told, them, told him I was into cinematography. Uh, so he took a chance on kind of an unknown filmmaker at that time, and that's how I got into the project in the first place. And my experience working on the project was great because it was really my first time working on a feature documentary. Um, Leo has made a lot of work in the past, I really respect his work, so he was a great mentor to me. And in terms of our actual production, um, you know, because Leo had this film before, A Village Called Versailles, uh, the congressman was, wasn't was too scared about opening up um, his life to Leo because he saw the positive light that, that um, Leo depicted the community before in the previous film. One of the more recent projects that I worked on was um, How to Fight in Six Inch Heels. The, that's the English title of the film, which is a romantic comedy um, set in Vietnam and New York about a neurotic fashion designer, or junior fashion designer, who um, is having a bit of a dilemma with her boyfriend who now lives in Vietnam. I won't tell too much of the plot, but for that film, I worked on it as the second unit cinematographer um, basically as a camera operator. Um, a friend of mine, Ham Tran, who directed uh, Journey from the Fall. So this is his second project and I've always wanted to work with Ham. For people in the Vietnamese community, I think it's, it'll be a, a different story because it's talking about the new generation of Vietnamese Americans who are coming back to Vietnam and we see it through a kind of a a comedic uh, perspective. I have a few projects that are coming up that I've been working on in development. One project that I'm really looking forward to working on and just having it out into the world is one about the current same-sex marriage legislation that's pending in Vietnam. Um, a lot of people might not know this, but the Vietnamese government has decided to possibly allow same-sex couples to marry legally in Vietnam. So not a lot of people would expect a country like Vietnam to, to allow same-sex marriage. They would actually be the first Asian country to do so. So I'm currently developing a documentary right now um, about that legislation and also just about the LGBT community in Vietnam and 
how they've been living their lives under this. A lot of them are, you know, because the family structure is so important in Vietnam, they've been hiding their lifestyle from their family because they're fearful of the shame that it might cause. Another project that I'm working on that we're actually in pre-production right now is uh, Nuuk, or 2030 in English, the English title. Um, it's a futuristic drama set in uh, Vietnam in 2030, and it's kind of looks at what would happen to Vietnam and the Mekong area if you know global warming got worse and that area was flooded, and it looks at kind of that larger story, but through a microcosm of of a murder mystery. Um, so it's a really interesting project. It's directed by uh, Min Win Vo, who previously directed Buffalo Boy. Um, I'll be the cinematographer, and also I'm producing that project.